in, took over and, and created some offense. So Pat Evans going to toss it up here, and we are underway in our second semifinal. Panthers in the white start on offense. They love to drive the ball to the basket. They create a lot of opportunities as a result of getting their offense up high, and then, of course, they'll skip it and shoot the three. They all shoot the three, but and they'll use ball screens as well. Eight on the shot clock. Jeff Thomas hits his first shot of this ball game. He continues his big run in this tournament as we take a look at the first bank and trust starting five for the Eagles at number four, Tukey Brown. 23 points, five assists in the last meeting between these two teams. An 85-80 win for the Eagles in Statesboro. Thomas shoots 54% of his shots from three-point land, and you're right, he nailed that one. Brown brings it across for Georgia Southern. Hughes had it stripped away, and Mitchell picks it up for the Panthers. Hughes is one of those players that's got to really show up big today, along with Brown. And, and a Ike foul Smith. is going to be called on Simons. Panthers will play a 2-3 matchup. They'll adjust it from uh, time to time. Uh, but the Eagles are going to go against the zone all afternoon. Ten on the shot clock. Ike Smith with four. Alls Miller with two. You know, Matt, I, I they, it, it didn't end up pretty, but I thought the Eagles did a good job of penetrating, creating some problems, but they bypassed the shots and didn't let that clock run down on them. Simons the miss and Simmons the rebound for the Eagles. Simmons did a good job last time. He, you know, he Alls Miller got, banks it in. Got some buckets early. Used that strong body of his. And Alls Miller's going to have to find some shooting range today and help this team against this zone. Rebound by Session. Thomas hits the three as you take a look at the first bank and trust starting five. And Jeff Thomas with 19 points on 8 of 12 shooting against Troy continues the hot hand against the Eagles here today. Ike Smith is limping. I don't know whether he twisted a knee or an ankle or exactly what he did do, but he's coming out. And you'll remember that Ike Smith missed five games earlier in the season with an ankle injury. And this is a Georgia Southern team that's been hit hard by injuries, as we already pointed out. Monte Glenn with the knee injury on Wednesday in practice is out for the rest of this tournament. A lot of ball fakes, a lot of dribble penetration, ball screens. Flashing through that thing. They're doing it all right right now. Quan Jackson with three on the clock. Knocks down the three. One point lead for Georgia State. Nearly stolen by Olsmiller. They're a man down on defense. Ben Levy will take advantage of it. Shoots wildly off the backboard. Mitchell picks it up for Georgia State. It was a good gamble. He just didn't quite get it. Mitchell, third team all Sun Belt. Wild shot there. Tukey Brown on the break for the Eagles. Alls Miller trailing on the three. In and out. Session the rebound for Georgia State. Alls Miller, 93% of his shots come from there. That's a good shot for him. Oh, Simon. 
Lions. Stays with it, missed the layup. Good defense by the Eagles. Tukey Brown, long outlet pass to Quan Jackson. Misses the reverse layup. Went for the home run right there and just missed. I was surprised they didn't call Tommen's ball and Simons on that last penetration. Devin Mitchell, rebound by Quan Jackson. Very active here in the early going. Quan Jackson, the redshirt freshman. Tukey Brown misses the runner inside. Coy Simmons off last. And the Eagles on top by one. That old story, the penetration, the defense all went to him. And Simons just did a good job of just cleaning it up. Simons inside. A whistle and a foul is going to be called on the Eagles and a technical foul on Coy Simmons, who lost his cool and slammed the ball into the court. He knew as soon as he did it, he was in trouble, you know, and he just turned it. And I blew that one. Opening four and a half, half minutes, Eagles on top by one. Life is about moments. And Coy Simmons, after being called for the personal foul, was hit with the technical. So Jeff Thomas taking the technical free throws first. I don't know whether he was mad at himself or it looks like he was mad at the official. And as soon as the ball bounced, he was repentant. He realized, yeah. uh-oh, I've crossed that line. <laughs> so Simmons goes to the bench, having picked up two fouls here. Now, Simons will take the foul free throws. Two shots here for him. Simons gets to the line on the average of six times a game, which clearly indicates that he's taking the ball and creating a lot of problems for the defense as well as just making baskets. Right at 200 free throw attempts on the season for Simons. 9-7 lead for Georgia State. A little bit of half-court trap. Defense was, Simons was too far off to make that feed. you got to get into the defense before you can throw that ball there. The Eagles have started three for seven in their shooting. Georgia State two for eight. Both these teams shot very well at the start of the game yesterday. A little bit slower starts here this afternoon in the semifinal. Winner advances to play UTA in session. Slams it out of bounds. I like their movement though. I like their penetration. Sessions did a great job of coming over and blocking the shot. Good defense. And there's good purpose on offense right now. Four on the shot clock. Hughes has to go with two. Hughes gets in the paint, hit the iron, gets his own miss. Allsmiller, three-pointer. And O'Connell, I believe, touched it last for the Eagles. Allsmiller had eight three-pointers in their regular season finale win against Troy. He'll come out, and B.J. Gladden will come in for him. Allsmiller has started 0 for 3 on his threes in this game. The Eagles collectively 1 for 4. Now, Gladden's more of a driver. He's not a three-point shooter. So they've changed the, you know, the makeup of the basketball team right now. Isaiah Williams, number 11 in the game for Georgia State, being guarded by Brown. Ball poked away by Quan Jackson. So 13 seconds on the shot clock for Georgia State. And they are up two. Big rivalry game to decide who gets to the championship game. Yeah, bragging rights. More than bragging rights, a spot in the final. I think Mark Vineson kind of summed it up best when he talked to Whitney Hayworth at the end of yesterday's game. Second inside with the slam, and Georgia four State goes up four. He Defense. said this is bigger than rivalry. This is for a spot to get to the NCAA tournament with a championship game victory tomorrow. You can't argue that. Defense got spread out and up high, and there was nobody to help on the screen and roll. Suki Brown kicks out Quan Jackson. Shot fake, fumbled it. Ends up with it. Brown takes a three. 
And Ben Levy with the rebound. Brown has really struggled. He was three for ten shooting yesterday, and all of his makes were layups. He was shooting on the way down. You got an offensive foul there. Isaiah Williams whistled for the foul, number one on him. Second team foul on Georgia State. You'll see the screen and roll, and then Sessions just rolls right down the lane. And the offense was up, and so the defense was up, and there was nobody to help. And without Monte Glenn, you got to be worried about that. You got a little bit soft in the middle because you don't have the size that you typically do with Monte Glenn in the game. And who's ever in that spot usually is not in that spot. So uh, Simon steals it away. There was a lot of contact, and finally a whistle, and the whistle goes against Ike Smith. And Gladden is trying to plead his case to the official, and he came right over me and hooked my arm, which he did do, but the official chose to let it go. See, right there, his left arm goes down to his side, and not by choice. So Ike Smith picks up his first personal foul. Three team fouls on Georgia Southern. Session kick out, Ben Levy. They whip it around to Isaiah Williams in the corner. That's a three-pointer for Williams. His first of the game, the third for the Panthers. They go up by seven. 54% of his shots come from there. So he, the ball was reversed to him quickly, and he was able to have get it off. 8-0 run for Georgia State. Brown drops it off and throws it right to Ron Hunter. <laughs> Look at Coach Hunter. Gets his first steal of the game. There you go. You'll remember it was the Georgia Southern victory in the championship game of the 2015 tournament where he famously tore his Achilles heel celebrating. Yeah, I know, and he could have done it there again. He's exactly. not getting younger. That's exactly what I was thinking. You got to be careful when you get to be our age. Williams drives the baseline kick out Ben Levy eight on the shot clock He's gonna drive and whistle in a foul going against the Eagles here David Lee Jones picks up the foul that'll be number one on him and now four team fouls on Georgia Southern Jones you got to understand you stick that hand in there and They're gonna call it in that situation again The Panthers are going back to that drive 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 and the other thing, the Eagles are trying to take the ball screens away from them by getting up what we call on the high side and funneling the ball handler towards the baseline. Ben Levy grew up down in southeast Georgia near the Georgia Southern campus. He's from Savannah, went to Jenkins High School. He missed both free throws. Alls Miller, another three-point attempt. This one's off the iron, and we have a whistle. Foul going against uh, Georgia State here, I believe. I think Alls Miller early was using shot fakes, letting that defense fly by him and getting in a little closer, and I think he needs to continue to do that. He was rushing on that shot. Jeff Thomas called for the foul. That's three team fouls now on the Panthers. They're on an 8-0 run over the last three minutes. Eagles have missed their last five shots. Gladden gets in there. That's six shots in a row. He got stripped. Goes back up with it. Shot challenged and blocked with the rim by Tyson. Thomas in the corner. That's a three-pointer. Got knocked down. David Lee Jones picks up his second foul. And Thomas is going to go to the line for three free throws. Georgia State out to a seven-point lead in the opening eight minutes. Opening eight minutes. Our missing Monte Glenn, who's the number two offensive rebounder in the country. So in that regard, they're taking care of that. They're just not hitting shots. They're three for 14 to start the game. Yeah, and Oz Miller hasn't been able to get it down, and, and they're really rushing him, and he's got to be clever with it. I think their penetration into the gaps is good. They haven't been able to have anybody pull up short and take the jump shot. They're kicking the ball back out and 
Pretty soon, uh, Georgia State's going to start reading some of those passes and taking them away from us. Thomas now has 10 points, 29 in the tournament already. Whitney, what did Coach Bynes tell his guys in the huddle? He said, be yourselves. He said, do not get caught up in what's not important. Georgia State is not playing that great. He said, the difference is the Panthers aren't getting frustrated when things don't go their way. Hughes at the foul line, air ball. That's a shot I was talking about, too. And how can you airball a 15-footer with his skill? Yeah, I mean, it, it is kind of inexplicable, and Brown has not been a big offensive factor in this tournament, as we mentioned. Three for ten, did not hit his first field goal until 33 minutes into the game yesterday. Tyson inside, and that will be an offensive foul, no basket. Oz Miller really set himself up well for that. Hopefully he didn't hit his head. You got to tuck your head on that. Ooh, he twisted his ankle in there. And that'll be the fourth team foul on the Panthers. Alls Miller doing a good job stepping outside the restricted circle in order to draw the charge and then uh, paid for it too. 11 0 run for Georgia State. Eagles drought now stretching close to five minutes here. You teach kids not to take the total blow. You start leaning backwards as uh, that man comes at you. Juan Jackson bounce inside O'Connell with the finish. That ends the dry spell. Penetration and O'Connell, you know, it was a great feed. Great feed by Jackson. And uh, they, they got to do more of that. Mitchell stolen by Brown. And Brown will take it in for the layup. First basket for Brown. Read the deep, read it well as a defensive player. There was a switch. His man was trying to take O'Connell one on one, and he just rotated and said, "Okay, let me see if I can get this. Maybe that'll get him going." Oh, he's got to play big time. I agree. Williams the drive. There's contact with O'Connell, and that will be O'Connell's first personal foul and the sixth team foul on Georgia Southern. Southern's going to put him in a one-on-one -on -one here very, yep. very quickly in the, just halfway through the first half. Isaiah Williams with the free throw. Panthers now 7 of 10 at the free throw line. The Eagles have not taken a free throw yet. And as you mentioned, one more foul by Georgia Southern. The Panthers will be shooting the bonus the rest of the way. And the Panthers are a penetrating kind of offensive team. They're going to go to the basket. Eight-point lead. Panthers have led by as much as ten. Brown, there's contact. Banks it in. They will not count the basket. That's the kind of shot he's got to get. Yep. He's got to get in there. And he's not the only one. Osmiller's got to do that. Pull up short. Take that jump shot. Good ball screen. In the NBA, that counts as a basket and a free throw opportunity. And I think it should be here, too. But Brown's well, going to inbound. Yeah, I was surprised they didn't count it. Foul coming on the floor before the shot, according to the officials. Jackson scoops it up there. Left it a little short and last touch by the Eagles. Jackson, good drive into the middle. Osmiller was over there on that wing wide open. One more pass, and you got a 93%. No, 93% 93 of the shots got from there, but a man that can knock that down. He's got to knock it down for him. Nine and a half to play here in the first half. Kane Williams drops it off for Session, who damages it. On the penetration, Jackson stayed on, uh, stayed out and it didn't rotate down in, and he was the only man that could help. Brown working against Mitchell. Spin move, lost his balance. Foul's going to be called on Georgia State, and that'll be the sixth team foul on the Panthers. Good penetration, good feed right to him. Defense all got ca caught up on the drive. Can't do that. And they did have a help side man over there. 
but Jones just didn't uh, rotate over. So next foul on the Panthers puts the Eagles in the bonus for the rest of the way. Yeah, they've got that defense spread out. That isn't compact by any stretch of the imagination. So you've got angles and areas that you can drive the ball. Brown with four on the shot clock. Goes by Mitchell, high off the glass. O'Connell missed the slam and it bounces off the top of the backboard. But he's doing a good job of staying opposite the ball and on those shots, he's taking himself right to the bucket in hopes of it, if that doesn't go in, getting the rebound. Would you not agree, Coach? The Eagles, their chances of win hinge on Tukey Brown's ability to start hitting those penetrating shots. Oh, I agree with that. Without that, they can't win this game. I agree with that. And then he's got to have help from Hughes or, or Smith. Thomas, the three-pointer. Thomas with 13 points. This guy has been the most valuable player for the Panthers so far in this tournament. 32 points total now for Thomas in the first game plus 12 minutes and a foul on session and that'll put Hughes at the line it also puts the Eagles in the bonus for the rest of the half Hughes came from the other wing underneath the basket and they were all caught up and we we're going to watch a three-point shot and boys you're right Thomas is doing a great job and Hughes just slipped underneath the basket and they were all caught up in Tukey and Tukey found him Hughes, a good free throw shooter, 76%. First free throw of the day for the Eagles. And Ike Smith comes in for Allsmiller, who goes to the bench. But the point you were making about Brown is well taken. Brown penetrates, and then Ike Smith and Mike Hughes have to be able to hit the threes from the wing. Without question. Or slip into a gap where he can pitch it to them and they can get a quick shot. That's the way they got to play Simons working against Quan Jackson drives and lays it in. Super job by Demarcus Simons right there to get his first bucket of the game. He changed direction two different times on that drive. Tukey drives and hits the floater. He's starting to heat up. Well, this see, is more like the Tukey we're used to seeing. Absolutely. But he set it up with the ball fake and the whole defense jumped to the right and then he went right down the lane. Pass inside session, whip to the corner. Nobody was covering Devin Mitchell, who took advantage of that and hit his first three of the game. That's the fifth three for the Panthers. They're up 14. Hughes rotated over under the high post and left the shooter wide open. Hughes gets inside, scoops it up there. Wild shot. Kane Williams break out for the Panthers. We'll take it. Contact and got the basket. Whoa, what a shot by Kane Williams. Ball. Only 10 points per game during the regular season, but he scored 19 in the opening win against Troy, and he's got 13 here today in the first 13 minutes. Kane Williams at the line to try to complete the three-point play. And a 17-point lead for Georgia State. He was slow, He's taking the ball over to Hughes, who was wide open over there. Ben Levy is called for the foul. That's number two on him. And so one and one for Quan Jackson. Jackson is an athlete. I mean, he's quick. He can penetrate the ball. You know, he's what they call slicer. Jackson, redshirt freshman guard out of Tallahassee, averaging seven points per game. He's got four here. Six and a half to play. Panthers up 16.
Williams. He'll go back to the line. Kane Williams really exhibiting his skill as a slasher and penetrator here in the first half. See, see what they're doing is they're keeping they, meaning the, the Panthers, they're keeping their offense up high using ball screens, and that was a middle ball screen, and now giving those perimeter guys an opportunity to drive the ball to the basket. And thus far, the Eagles haven't had an answer. Kane Williams averaging only three and a half points per game. The freshman out of Douglasville, Georgia, in the Atlanta area, played at South Paulding High School. And Kane Williams now has five points. 18 point lead for Georgia State. Eagles shooting just 27% in this game. And Brown bangs in a three pointer. That's his first three pointer of this tournament and he's a 48 percent three-point shooter for the season inside session nobody picked him up there was a man down low with him who rotated up to the wing and left him standing wide open underneath the basket Hughes answers with a three-pointer so after hitting only one three-pointer in the first 13 plus minutes, the Eagles have had two on back-to-back -back possessions. We'll see if that gets them ignited here so they can climb back in this game. They're down 14 with five to play in the first half. Kane Williams inside the arc off the iron. Brown will bring it up for Georgia Southern. Ike Smith. And Kane Williams the rebound. See, Smith is a 29% three-point shooter, but he could get in two or three steps there, and then off a of two-piece pass, he's, he's got a, about a 17-foot shot. Nearly stolen by Jackson, ends up in the hands of Simons instead, who takes advantage of the misplaced defense, drives the baseline and banks it in. Klein just couldn't hang on to it, but it was a good defensive play. And then the defense didn't react on the help side. Great, key. Great pass inside. O'Connell couldn't finish it, however, and then he gets his own miss and he'll go to the line. What a pass by Tukey Brown, however. See, that's what, you know, Neil needs to just hide back there and slide from side to side. That's what he did. But as you can see, he's leaning backwards, and he's got to change his weight and go towards the bucket instead of falling away. It's a tremendous pass. You just want your guy to finish it. <laughs> get a pass like that, man. You want to get the finish. O'Connell has a chance to make it up here with a couple of free throws. And it was one and one. I guess it was not a shooting foul in which the foul was called. It was on the rebound instead. Thomas shovels the ball to Session. Timeout Mark Bynes in Georgia State rolling up 18. What a pass by Thomas who's putting on a show here in New Orleans. Penetrated and the defense just rotated up and he was wide open underneath the basket. I thought Byington had called a timeout. He had not. They're going to wait for the under four to take that timeout, which will come naturally on the first dead ball of the, the uh, four minute mark. 18 point lead, Georgia State. Jackson drives and banks it in. Nicely done by Jackson, who elevated, got his hand up over the rim, and banked it in off the glass. He's a good athlete and he handles the ball well. Tukey could have come up with that pass right there. He was in position to do it. A lot of switching on their defense. Session inside, wild off the glass. Foul is going to be called on Gladden. And Georgia State really trying to take advantage of the Eagles' lack of size in the middle. And Neal again put on quite a show. Session at the line. Whitney was in the Georgia Southern huddle. What was Coach Bynes telling his guys? 
guys. They all just want to play one play at a time. But he said, I want you all to win these next three minutes. It doesn't matter if we're leading or losing, but go into the half with a positive note. Well, he isn't going, right now. Yeah, he isn't going to be leading, but his his the concept is very good. You know, just play, get a little bit closer. See, Osmiller, he's got that man rushing out at him. You, uh, uh, ben Levy, let Ben Levy go by. Get in a little closer. Osmiller's now 0 for 5. Georgia Southern, after starting 5 for 20, had hit four of their last six until that missed by Osmiller. The Panthers have hit 10 of their last 11 after starting 2 of 8. It's reflected in the scoreboard. Mitchell, three-pointer. Rim out, rebound Gladden. Tukey, Kane Williams was riding him on the shoulder, and Williams is called for the foul. That'll be number one on him, and that's the tenth team foul on Georgia State. So double bonus for Georgia Southern for the final 252 of this half. Brown needs to continue to just penetrate, penetrate, penetrate. Getting the ball, let him do that, and play from there. Brown with a team leading eight points. Eagles now four of seven at the foul line. Simons barely grazed the iron and it's last touch by Georgia Southern. Two and a half to play in the half. Mitchell lost it into Gladden's hands. Gladden lost it. Saves it to Brown. Brown spin move like Perry Sanders was fouled on the play. He'll go to the line for two. He's got a great spin move. And it is quick. And he's under control on it. I think if I did this, I'd get dizzy. Yeah, a little bit of a fake. And you'd end up like a pretzel. <laughs> the free throw he's now got nine their heads are still up though the Eagles yeah I like that yeah, just keep fighting keep fighting down 16 coach Byington encouraging his team to make a strong finish here in the first half if they could perhaps get it below 10 just a little positive momentum for this team heading into the second half Remember, they took the game over against ULM. They fell behind 38-37 and then went on a 14-2 run to win that game against the Warhawks yesterday. Inside session, and again, the Panthers exploiting the lack of size for the Eagles inside. And Thomas made a great feat. He, I was looking for him to shoot it, and uh, he just gave it up. Excellent offensive play. Alls Miller again misses. He's 0 for 6. Ben Levy, three-pointer. Rebound, Alls Miller gets it to Brown. Not a very good shot. It was forced. Too much pressure. Smith hits the floater on the baseline. Mike Smith, that is his first basket of the game. The average is 11. The more you shot fake, the way they, the Georgia State comes at you, the better chance you've got of going by him and pulling up short for jump shots or floaters. Less than a minute to play in the half. Shot clock at five. Isaiah Williams goes by Aldmiller. 
pass fake and he got fouled. Got bailed out right there. I don't know that he was going to end up with a good shot in the lane and they bail him out with the foul. I don't either. And then Osmiller didn't play him right because Osmiller isn't as good an athlete and he's got to give him more of a cushion. Instead, he played him too tight that far out and he just got beat going to the bucket. I mean, Williams is going to beat you. Just couldn't get in front of him. He goes to the bench for the final 44 seconds here. Isaiah Williams with the free throw. Panthers now 15 of 18 at the foul line in this first half, and they're up by 17 again. Their largest lead has been 18. Tukey's going to let it roll across half court and then finally pick it up. And nice touch. That's his fourth basket. Timeout. Ron Hunter not happy. They let Tukey get in the paint and get that shot. He's got 12. As we take a look at the Golden Mavericks. That's his fourth basket. Timeout. Ron Hunter not happy. They let Tukey get in the paint and get that shot. He's got 12. As we take a look at the Golden Mavericks program history. Difference of four seconds, game clock and shot clock here in the first half. Williams at the elbow. Rebound, Gladden with eight, and a timeout called by the Eagles with 7.2. Five of five and five rebounds inside without Monte Glenn. They don't really have a rim protector. Point two. Five of five and five rebounds inside without Monte Glenn. They don't really have a rim protector against the guy like him. Four seconds. Hughes at the buzzer. And that is the end of the first half. And a 46-31 lead for Jordan. Second half. One lead for Jordan. Second half. See, that's really a good comment. He, he, he breaking it down into small pieces and saying, okay, let's win this short little battle, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Eagles start on offense. It's going to start with making some shots, and Ike Smith drops it off inside for O'Connell. O'Connell couldn't come away with it. The Panthers bring it across to Marcus Simons with six points in that first half. Jeff Thomas... And Jordan Session, the big guns for the Panthers in the first half. Session comes out to get it, 12 points. He scored 21 points in his previous nine games against the Eagles, and he's got 12 here today. Devin Mitchell, nothing, and the rebound, uh, Session. Alls Miller went over his back. Got fouled on the play, and Alls Miller picks up his second personal foul. A lot of, yeah, travel. A lot of switching by the Eagles, and they try to keep defensive position as a result of this, all of the switches on the ball screen. Yeah, again, get the ball in Tukey's hands and let's penetrate. And Tukey does that, and the follow by O'Connell. They were going to wave off the basket, offensive interference. I think it was a good call. I think the ball was above the cylinder. Interestingly, Georgia Southern doesn't rotate up to try and steal that pass when they throw it across court in that three-quarter court press. Jeff Thomas in and out session over the back this time as he picks up his first personal foul. Sessions, senior out of McDonough, Georgia, there in the Atlanta area, south of the city, Eagles Landing High School. A lot of Georgia kids on these two rosters helps fuel the rivalry. So not only do they play against each other in college, they play against each other in high school in AAU ball, and Allsmiller continues with the bagel from the floor. 
He is now 0 for 7 on three-point attempts. Actually, that was a two. He's 1 for 8 on his twos overall, and he's 0 for 6. He's 1 for 8 overall and 1 for 2 on his twos. How about that? Yeah, but he, he used better judgment there by using that shot fake and getting in a little closer. Thomas the miss. Got it back. Tukey took off and he had to try and score quickly. If he'd have stayed put, he, he could have come up with that long rebound. Mitchell, yep. basket. Offensive foul, basket won't count. Balls Miller did a great job of sliding over. He really reads that well. That's one area he's been able to contribute right now. He's got to get some buckets down. Mitchell with three personal fouls. Yeah, if Alms Miller could start hitting his three like he's able to do, then they could get back in this game. Ike Smith, three point on his way, and it's no good. Three for 13 for the Eagles. Smith's only a 29% three point shoot. Session flips it in over his shoulder. That's the first basket for either team in this half. Took nearly three minutes to get it. Simons made a nice pass as he penetrated and dropped the ball down as the defense honed in on him. Tukey the miss, and Ike Smith got in there and got the offensive rebound and put back. Just his second bucket. Full court pressure here by the Eagles. Thomas got stripped. Ike Smith comes up with the steal as he runs it across half court. Tukey on the drive, and that's going to be a blocking foul on Jeff Thomas. I think Thomas was in there inside the restricted area. Third personal foul on Jeff Thomas, so Tukey Brown has a chance at a three-point play. See, there are gaps in that thing. Yeah, see, his heels on that dog. I think his right foot wasn't stationary. So Devin Mitchell comes out. Isaiah Williams comes in for Georgia State. Quan Jackson's going to come in for Alls Miller. I thought Jackson did a good job while he was in there. He quick. He brings energy. Yes, he does. Better defensively. Gives you a little bit better defensive presence. Maybe not the three-point shooter that Alls Miller is, but Alls Miller's not hitting the three right now. Interestingly enough, the Panthers aren't really trying to exploit that press and attack it. Isaiah Williams hits the floater. He can, he can elevate too, which really helps him on that shot. He's now got nine. That was his second basket. He's also four for four at the line. 14-point lead for the Panthers. Jackson lost the dribble, had the pass knocked out of bounds by Williams. And a timeout. Four minutes, 19 seconds into the second half. Georgia State still up by a big margin. Represented. Four minutes, 19 seconds into the second half. Georgia State still up by a big margin. Represented. Sun Belt ticket will be punched tomorrow, 2 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Central Time. UT Arlington against the winner of this game. UT Arlington in the Sun Belt final for the first time ever. Georgia Southern, Georgia State, both trying to get there for the first time since 2015 when the Panthers beat the Eagles in the championship game, 38-36. Gladden at the line for Georgia Southern. First point of the game for Gladden. They need to continue to just penetrate, but they've got to complete some plays out on the perimeter, and they haven't been able to do that. 
off the hands of Noah Fowles going to be called on Ike Smith. And that will be number two on him. After Session had picked up his second personal foul, putting Gladden on the line. Inside, Jordan Session going to bank it in. I mean, he has not had a shot that was further out than four feet. <laughs> no, it, he, he, there was a switch, and now Tukey's trying to guard him, and, you know, it's a real mismatch. In the corner, three-pointer for Ike Smith. That's his first of the day, and just the fourth for the Eagles. Panthers have not had any problems with that press, but I'm not sure that the Eagles are trying to really take the ball away from them. Simons got stripped by Ike Smith, ends up in the hands of Gladden. Gladden running the point there on the break, and Hughes misses the three-point shot. Tough break when you get the steal, you get a break like that, you get a chance to maybe hit a three and cut it below ten, and then you... Yeah, missed the shot. Another opportunity here for the Eagles as Hughes stepped through, got fouled on his drive and shot. He'll go to the line for two. The most impressive part about that whole thing was, okay, he misses it, the shot on the last sequence, but he didn't put his head down. He just kept playing and came up with another play. Yep, got the steal from Simons and then uh, took it all the way in and he'll go to the line. Hughes over 1,300 career points in his career. You know, it's only an 11-point lead. It is. I mean, they're, they, they're that close to getting right yeah. back in this game. Yeah. They just need a couple of stops defensively, which they have been getting. And they got to hit some shots, which they are starting to do. And now it's a 10-point game. And that press may become a little bit more assertive. Well, if nothing else, it just slows down Georgia State offensively so that they wind down and get late in the shot clock. Nearly threw it away. Ben Levy saved it. Isaiah Williams, three-pointer. And the long rebound is chased down by O'Connell. He was being held by Kane Williams. They didn't whistle anything there. Chance to cut it below 10. Hughes goes right at Session. They call him for traveling. And they are picking that zone apart. I mean, <laughs> they're doing a, just a great job, but they haven't been able to complete enough plays to, to make it uh, really competitive. So Hughes comes out of the game. They get Quan Jackson back in. Or maybe David Lee Jones came in for him, pardon me. Under 13 and a half to play. Georgia Southern, as close as they've been in quite some time, it's down to 10. Ooh. That could have easily been a charge. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Ball tipped away by Gladden. Ben Levy has to go back to get it. Two on the clock. He has to heave it. And that's going to be a shot clock violation on the Panthers. And that was B.J. Gladden. He really did that by deflecting that pass into the backcourt. Great defensive play by Gladden. The Eagles right now are a little bit quicker than they mm -hmm. were earlier. And they're a little bit more assertive. And I think, and, and you pointed out with the full court press, they have not gotten any turnovers out of it, but I think it's disrupted the Panthers enough offensively that Georgia State has now gone over two minutes without scoring. Well, what they've done is they've become a little bit more passive. Jackson on a step back. Ball up in the air, and Session beat Gladden to it. Ten on the shot clock. Ben Levy with five on the clock, and he hit it. 
Good skip pass. Defense had sucked in and weren't able to get out in time. Offensive foul, David Lee Jones. That'll be his third personal foul. Third team foul on the Eagles. And Allsmiller will come in. And Jones will go to the bench. And Gladden's going to come out too. So they got Ike Smith back out on the floor. Running a weave up top. A lot less time to do what they want to do. We got traveled. And a traveling call with six on the shot clock, and we have a timeout. 11.40 to play. Georgia Southern hanging around, trying to get it under double digits. They trail by 13. Better serve. They trail by 13. Better served, especially with their size, attacking that basket and really going after the thing. Eagles back on offense. They're down 13 with 11 and a half minutes to play. Spot in the Sun Belt Championship game on the line here. O'Connell inside and one. Ball fake by Tukey set it up. Looked like he was going to throw it over here to the wing. And he just rifled it over there. Great pass. That's the second time that Tukey Brown has been able to hit O'Connell in the paint with a pass. The first time in the first half, he was unable to complete the play. This time, he took care of business. You see, he had better balance, and he had more of his weight going at the basket. Tyson, the rebound for Georgia State as the lead stays 11. Kane Williams inside and gets it to go in. Kane Williams, the freshman, you can see that he's going to be a, a big part of the Panthers' future going forward. Well, that was a great move, great spin move. Ike Smith lost the dribble. O'Connell hops on top of the ball, and they call jump ball. Possession now favors, uh, favors the Panthers. Eagles can ill afford those kind of turnovers. And Tukey Brown's going to come out of the ball game. Not sure about that move. Unless he just requested a, a quick break. Blocking foul on Alls Miller. Third foul on him. One of the few times the Panthers have tried to attack after, uh, out of that press. Had to be in the... Uh, that was close. I was going to say he had to be in a restricted area, but I'm not sure whether he was totally in, or in at all. Four on the shot clock. Kane Williams will fire and over the back. Simons called for the foul. Simons picks up his fourth personal foul. Sunbelt player of the year, only six points today with four personal fouls. And he'll come out of the ball game and Ben Levy will check in for him. Jackson's not a good free throw shooter. If they can get one out of this, they'll be fortunate. Brown back in for the Eagles, and Allsmiller will go to the bench. 
Georgia Southern 10 for 15 on their free throws today. Just over 10 minutes to play in this semifinal. Panthers have enjoyed a double digit lead for most of the game. But the Panthers have slowed their momentum down by playing at uh, speed that that really is not conducive uh, to attacking and, and creating the problems that they did in the first half. Yeah, they've scored only 11 points here in the second half after scoring 46 in the first 20 minutes. So the Eagles, and I think it's the full court pressure, the Eagles have slowed them down. Great job by Jackson. He was getting killed inside and he stepped around him. Didn't need that. Though. Foul called on O'Connell underneath. That'll be his second personal fifth team foul on Georgia Southern. Under nine and a half to play. Four on the clock. Williams drives and rebound O'Connell. O'Connell's got three boards, four points today as Brown brings it across for the Eagles. Nine to play. Panthers. This one's on Isaiah Williams, I believe. Yeah, he reached in. It was an easy call. The official standing right there. Third personal foul on him, so Brown is. Brown is at the line for two. I, pardon me, this is the one and one. Panthers with 18 fouls. Fifty-seven forty-five. You notice the Eagles aren't in the lane there for a rebound. Should Tuki miss? That's interesting. I guess they don't think he's going to miss. <laughs> yeah, that they don't have anybody that can get the rebound. Oh, he's good hands. Jackson comes yes, up with the steal, and then Ben Levy fouls him in the backcourt. Ben Levy just pushed him to prevent him from getting the ball. And that'll be the second personal foul on Ben Levy. That's the ninth team foul on the Panthers. That's the first time that that press has resulted in a turnover. Jackson at the line, a chance if he could get these two free throws right here. It's the one and one to get it below 10. Then misses the front end of the one and one. Eight and a half to go. Panthers have gotten mismatches, but they've never been able to exploit them. Ben Levy in the corner and the rebound controlled by Devin Mitchell. Mitchell goes right back at it, missed the layup. And Jackson the rebound for Georgia Southern. Mike Smith and the Eagles have cut it below 10 for the first time and it seems like forever. It's an eight-point game. Tukey Brown was telling, put that ball in the corner and bingo. There was no defensive man rotating. 
and Ike Smith had an easy shot. Seven and a half to go. Georgia Southern down only eight now. Mitchell, he's off the mark. Rebound, Jackson. Here comes Georgia Southern. Brown across half court. Going to go right at him. And a foul's going to be called on Georgia State. Back in the game. One or two perimeter jump shots. And, but other than that, it's been go at the bucket. Eagles are now 7 of 11 at the free throw line in this half. And coach, the Panthers have not taken a free throw. Yeah, the roles have been reversed. And uh, you hit it on the head, Matt, when you said, I think that press, although it's not stealing you know, the ball, yeah. just slowed the Panthers down where they were just kind of walking around. And well, it's a 22 as they get it across the half court line, and Ben Levy has to call a timeout here. I mean, they're just really slow getting into their offense, and, you know, they're getting maybe one good team in the huddle. He walked up to his team. He said, that's the team I know. That is the team I know. He said, you all are being aggressive and you're playing confidently. That's the team I know. So slowly but surely, like you said, they're chipping away. So we'll have to see how the uh, Panthers respond. Yeah, and while the Eagles have been aggressive, the Panthers have been very passive. At least that's the way I see it offensively. Oh, Simons goes right at it. There's going to be a foul on the floor, not on the shot. And that'll be the 16th foul on Georgia Southern. Gladden picks up the personal. It's the second. The defense went way out on him and, and allowed the Panthers to have angles to take the ball and go to the basket. And, and the best offensive player on the floor just took it and said, okay, I can go to the hoop. Thomas been quiet for quite some time now. Isaiah Williams hits a three-pointer. That's his second. It's the seventh, just the second for the Panthers in the half as they climb back up by nine. Jackson. Foul going to be called on session. And that will be number four on him. So three Panthers now with four fouls. The Tukey should have rotated down and tried to put pressure on the shot. I'm not sure it would have done any good, but he just kind of stood and watched because everybody else was kind of collapsing inside to prevent the ball from going in. So Session, Mitchell, and Simons all have four fouls. And it would help the Eagles' cause if, if Jackson could get some of these free throws he's getting in. Jackson one for four at the foul line. His technique is pretty good. I, 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 for being a 50% free throw shooter, his technique would indicate that he's better than that. And the only stat you have to look at to back up what we were saying about the Eagles have been the aggressor and the Panthers passive. Georgia Southern is nine for 14 at the foul line in this half, and the Panthers have not taken a free throw. Yeah, that usually is a clear indication of what's going on out on the floor. Simons through the lane, down to seven on the shot clock, reach in foul on Jackson. That'll put Jeff Thomas at the line for the one and one. Yeah, I'm not sure it wasn't on Tukey. Yeah, that is on Tukey, you're right. Mm -hmm. Second personal foul on him. So Jeff Thomas at the line. Thomas had 13 at the half. He still has 13. And he still has 13. I was going to say, you were pretty prophetic on that one. Jackson's pass fumbled out of bounds by Hughes. Not sure it was a really good pass. Looked like he lost the ball. But their spirits continue to, you know, be good. And I'm not sure what the Panthers are. The Panthers are a step slow in this half. And again, here's that full court press, and it just does a really good job of slowing down Georgia State. 
has changed the tempo of this game. So kind of watch the clock here. When do the Panthers really get a look at the basket? We're down to 12, and they haven't really looked at the basket yet. Now we're below 10, and still no look at the basket. Simon's going to put the ball in motion now and drive, and one. No offensive foul on Simons, and he's fouled out. Demarcus Simons, the player of the year in the Sun Belt Conference, just fouled out with six points. And you know what? It's a good call. It's a good call. Jackson did a great job of getting over there and getting planted long before there was contact. He is done for the rest of this game with five plus minutes to play. Hughes in the paint. Lost the ball out of his hands. You go in there, you better go in there strong and hanging on to the ball. Thomas was telling him, yeah, he fouled you. And the Panthers turn it over. That's the second turnover that this press has produced yeah and that was an unfortunate I mean if there wasn't pressure on Kane he just he just threw the ball away but now 17 turnovers pardon me 16 turnovers as Tukey Brown gets in there and gets the basket the lead is back down to six with just under five minutes to play Ten on the shot clock. Nine. Isaiah Williams, seven. Four on the clock. And Williams had a three-point shot blocked by Ike Smith. And a foul called on Georgia State. Isaiah Williams picks up his fourth personal. So now three Panthers with four. And Simons has fouled out. Hughes blocked it. Or, uh, Smith blocked it and then just went after it and, and uh, got pushed. Panthers led by 15 at halftime, 46 31. They've been outscored 24 to 14 here in the second half. 46 points in the first 20 minutes, and then you score 14 points in the next 15 plus minutes. How do you explain that? Down to a four point game. And Simons fouling out with just six points ends his streak of 49 consecutive games in double figures. Quan Jackson whistled for the foul. Yeah, he went after it. Instead of moving his feet, he tried to get his hand in there and knock it away. It's the first foul on him, so Kane Williams at the line shooting the one and one. Got the bounce and the drop. Seventy percent free throw shooter, so I'm not surprised if he doesn't get them both. Use the rebound. Four minutes to play. Five point lead for Georgia State. But the momentum belongs to the Eagles. Brown in traffic. Session the rebound. He's got nine rebounds, and now a timeout on the floor. Five-point game with 3.56 to play. The winner will meet UT Arlington in the championship tomorrow. Game with 3.56 to play. The winner will meet UT Arlington in the championship tomorrow. Plus 15 for Georgia State in the first half. Plus 10 for Georgia Southern in the second half. And that's your five-point difference as we are now at three minutes and 45 seconds to go.
three on the shot clock. Williams drives and gets it. Isaiah Williams taking over as the scoring leader here with DeMarcus Simons fouled out and having scored only six points. Williams has 14. Session actually is the leading scorer right now. Alls Miller takes another three. That's his first three-point attempt of the second half. And like the first half, he misses. He's 0 for 7 on his threes. Under three minutes to play. Panthers by seven. Well, they got all that switching, and now they got a little guy on the little guy. Williams fires and hits another three. Big basket right there. The fifth-year senior guard out of Buford, Georgia, in the Atlanta area. Started his college career at Sanford. Hits a big one right there, and the Panthers are up ten. Mike Smith kicks to Tukey Brown, blocking foul on Georgia State. And Ben Levy has picked up his third personal. I, Panthers did a great job of moving that ball, but how about this shot? I mean, you talk about a step back big time with the clock running down. And I was just asking you, okay, who's going to hit the big shot without Simons on the floor? I think I got my answer. Yeah, Isaiah Williams, he has 10 of his 17 points here in the second half. And the Panthers on a 6-0 run after Georgia Southern had cut it to four for the first time since 17-13 in this game. Ike Smith. It's another eight-point game. Eagles 13 of 18 at the foul line in this half. Two minutes to play. Five on the clock. Isaiah Williams attacks the basket. Missed the layup. Jackson the rebound for Georgia Southern. Man down for the Panthers. Allsmiller in the corner. Misses the three. Ike Smith gets the rebound. And jump ball called. The possession arrow in favor of the Eagles. And a timeout called by the Eagles. Are they going to go with a three, which they haven't been very successful? I just think they need to continue to take the ball and go to the basket like that. And that's what Ike Smith will do with the reverse layup. Beautifully done by Ike Smith, the junior, out of Gainesville, Florida. And it's back to a six-point game. Trouble with the dribble, but Kane Williams gets it across to Isaiah Williams. Now Kane has it back, 16 on the shot clock. Yeah, you don't need to go out that far and guard him, but you're just going to give him an angle. Offensive foul on Kane Williams. His fourth. Yeah, yeah, he, good call. Yeah, he just he did he stuck his arm right out there into yeah. the chest of yeah. Tukey Brown and Tukey did a good job of selling it make sure the officials saw it 71 seconds to go now again take the ball and go to the basket Tukey's got a three okay you know you're gonna have to live with some of that A whistle standing on the sideline. Ike Smith took that pass with his foot on the sideline. What a costly mistake with 59 seconds to go. Now that press has to be a little bit more assertive and aggressive now because they need the ball.
oh, if, if Thomas just goes back, there's nobody back there to, to guard him. Ball comes in to Thomas. He's in a double team. Ball intercepted by Jackson. Jackson will go right at the hoop and get the basket, and he was fouled. What a huge play by Quan Jackson. He read that well. He read that passing lane very, very well. Right there. He was clear on the other side of the floor. And what a foolish foul. 13th turnover of the half for Georgia State. I tell you, that young man's got a bright future in front of him. Nine points for Jackson, his 10th point, cuts it to a three-point game with 53 seconds to go. Now it's different. They can play it straight up. Exactly. He almost went after that one. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Game clock down to 33 now with 10. I think Williams is going to take it and go. Six on the shot clock. Isaiah Williams, three on the shot clock. Pass was kicked by Ike Smith, and that will reset the clock to 20 seconds. What an unfortunate break for Georgia Southern. The clock was down to two, and Isaiah Williams was trying to bounce pass to nowhere. It was forcing it in, and, and you don't kick it. You let it go. You've got to know how much time, and right now... Now, Mike Hughes is hurt. I don't know whether he hurt his ankle or his knee or what, but he went down, it, uh, walking it off, and hopefully he's okay. My goodness, they've had trouble with injuries. Monte Glenn, their top big man, number two offensive rebounder in the country. He's out for the rest of the tournament, injured his knee in practice on Wednesday. And now Mike Hughes goes to the bench with 23.7 seconds left in the game. Yeah, the way he's pointing, it looks like he tweaked his ankle a little bit. Now the shot clock goes back to 20 seconds. That's just a devastating blow here for Georgia Southern. Do you foul here? Or do you play it out? Because the Panthers can run it almost all the way down to the end of the game. Ben Levy calls a timeout, unable to get the ball inbound. No, I think I think you got a you got to fight to steal the ball for the Panthers here in the second half after scoring 46 in the first. Devin Mitchell fired the ball three. He didn't have to do that, and it went in anyway. He thought the shot clock was at one or two with 20 seconds. His teammates are shaking their heads, but it's better to be lucky than good sometimes. Jackson misses. Isaiah Williams, now they've got to foul him, and Alls Miller does. Tevin Mitchell had no idea what he was doing, but it worked. I thought he drew it up in a timeout. No, I, I, I'm being facetious. <laughs> Holy smokes. He had, he, you know, he had no idea what was going on. He took the inbounds with 20 seconds on the shot clock, thinking that there was one on the shot clock, and he hit the three, falling out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. And Coach, uh -oh. Coach Hunter is over there saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Well, the good news is for the Panthers is they may survive that crazy mistake. Isaiah Williams at the line for the one and one. Unbelievable. And a seven-point lead for Georgia State with 11.2 to go. Yeah, the Eagles have got to get it down quickly. Get it to the basket. If they got a wide open three, fine. Just don't force it. That's a candidate for Sports Center, not top ten. Now 11 seconds to go, and Tukey Brown lays it in. That's one of those rare plays, Coach, that's a candidate for the not top 10 and the top 10. The, uh, that's, that's a difficult shot. To no, that, well, that's not right. Now they got it right, yeah. They put three-tenths of a second back on the clock to make it seven full seconds left. Inbounds. Kane Williams gets it into Isaiah Williams. He gets fouled 5.8 as 1.2 ticks off, and Isaiah Williams will be at the foul line. Good job by Coach Hunter in getting the ball into the man's hands that you want at the free throw line. 
So two shots here for Isaiah Williams. All they have to do is take care of their business at the foul line, and Georgia State will play in the championship game tomorrow against UT Arlington. And you see the emotion for the Eagles. It's a tough thing when you lose. Yeah, and they came close, and uh, hats off to them in the way they battled back in the second half and made a, a, a real interesting game out of it. That's the seniors, Gladden, Simmons, and Alls Miller all playing what will be likely their final college basketball game. Tukey Brown picks it up. Races in there, gets the layup, one second to go. And the Panthers will play for the championship. 73-67 winners over the Eagles and Georgia State in the championship game to take on the UT Arlington Mavericks.